I'm happy, True Feather, that the Council of the Tribes of Lake Winnipeg chose you to be part of my escort. Actually, they didn't have much choice. I talked the other volunteers out of it, so I was the only one left. Does it mean that much to you? I'd have done anything to come with Just you. Just as long as you don't want to do things by yourself. I'm not sure what you got in your head. If you ask me, that sounds like jealousy talking. I'm as smart as you when it comes to deciding what to do. And as far as my head's concerned, some people think I have a good one. Oh, now that's good to know. Let's hope you don't lose it and prove your admirers wrong. You can make fun of me all you like. I have plenty of good qualities. I'm strong, brave. I'm sure you'll learn to appreciate them. <laughs> hmm. I can tell modesty isn't one of your qualities, True Feather. Do you think we'll run into any difficulty on the river? None at all, if we're lucky. This is the best time of year to travel the river. If the Great Spirit protects us from unfortunate encounters and we keep a good lookout, we should make good time. What do you mean, unfortunate encounters? Small bands of warriors shunned by their tribes roam the banks robbing anyone they come across. They're even said to be cannibals. But there's no need to worry. They won't attack us. They can see we're well armed and everyone knows about our mission. I just thought, the further we go north, the harder it'll be to live off the land. Don't worry, it's still summer. Even in the north, we'll find berries. No, Pocahontas, he's right. It'll be more and more difficult. I think so, too. From now on, we'll keep our vegetable supplies for you. That's very kind of you, but I can't accept. Why not? The rest of us can eat fish, roots, and whatever else we can find. If you go find some wood, I'll light a fire. All right. Hey, come on, you sleepyheads. Time to get up. I'm out here doing all the work. Here you are, Pocahontas. Thanks, Mock. Now I'll make some soup. Oh, what a great sleep. Time to get up, Yellow Wolf. That's odd. Where are the sacred animals? I don't know why, but I have a feeling... Something bad's about to happen. They're probably looking for something to eat. Huh? No! Hey! Get your weapons, we're being attacked! <gasps> Come 
all this way to fight a war. Oh, you're wounded. Does it hurt? Don't worry, it's nothing. Just a scratch. Are you sure? Let me dress it. No, it's fine. We should leave the area as soon as possible. You hear that, Hopi Ho? They might come back with reinforcements. Yes, they meant business. Why did they choose us? We don't have anything of value. Nothing. Oh, you're back. And the others? Thank you for saving us. I hope you didn't hurt those scoundrels. Good, they've taken enough punishment. After all, they didn't hurt me and my brothers. Thank you, Great Spirit, for allowing us to defend ourselves, for giving us the strength to drive away our enemies and win without having to kill. Pocahontas, it's not safe here. Let's go then. What's the matter, Pocahontas? You look so concerned. I was thinking about those men who attacked us. I wonder if there could be someone who wants our mission to fail. What do you think, Ma? The spirit of war and destruction, perhaps. We have to find out, and soon. If Mark's right, it means he'll try again and again until he succeeds. Don't worry, we're on a mission for the Great Creator. He'll make sure nothing happens to us. If they attack us again, we must take a prisoner and make him talk. Only our enemies know the enemy plan. You're right. No, we mustn't use violence to find out their plan. We'll ask for help from all the chiefs who are waiting for us. Together, we'll solve the mystery. It's late. We must find a place to camp. Here, I'll take that. Whoa! those two little rascals again. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Huh? Come here. It's all right. Don't be afraid. Mm. Give the little pests to me. Come down, Siva. Why be nasty to them? They haven't done anything wrong. Hmm. They shouldn't have been in those skins in the first place. It must have been when we were attacked. I'm sure they were terrified. Pocahontas has a way with animals. She likes to mother them, and they know it. Where's Mock? In the forest with True Feather. They took their weapons. Oh. We're getting close. I can feel it. Thank you for sacrificing, sacrificing yourself to feed us. May your May soul, soul roam in the eternal, eternal forest, forest forever. forever. Hey, the hunt was successful. This was a good place to camp. Hey, there's a village at the foot of the mountain over there. How many huts? About a dozen. They're all cone-shaped. Did you meet anyone? 
No, as I approached, I could see three or four people. But as soon as they saw me, they ran into the forest. They seemed to be afraid of me. How many people are there in the village? I don't know. I didn't see anyone else. I could hear a dog barking, but that was all. I didn't explore the place. It might be the village of the men who attacked us. That's you a could thought. be right. Sounds like the perfect place to hide after a raid. We'll just have to keep our eyes open. If they attack, at least we know we can defend ourselves. Don't worry, Pocahontas. We can't expect things to go our way all the time. You know? Oh, no! The roast is burned! Just my luck! Ugh. The great Manitou gave us food and we wasted it! We must find something else to eat oh. before it gets dark. <sighs> I think the best solution is to go to the village. That's not very wise. We don't know what we'll find there. Everyone has the right to receive the Great Spirit's message. That's why we'll go there, to convince them to live in peace with other people like everyone else. I know that's our mission, but how can you get them to listen to reason? They're criminals! No, Hopi Ho, how can you accuse them of being criminals? You don't even know them yet. Maybe they fled here to escape the Pale Faces. Neither one of us knows for sure. Huh? Mayak heard a dog barking. Usually if a tribe has dogs, it means they're a settled and peaceful people. It's a risk we have to take. We're ready to go when you are. Take a closer look. Wait for me here. No, Mok. Wait. We can't go there on a peace mission with tomahawks. If they are the men who attacked us, they'll massacre us if we go there empty-handed. Messengers of peace don't show up with weapons. Then we'd better not go there at all. That would be the easy way out. Our mission is also to gather scattered tribes into one nation. All of you stay here. I'll go alone. Don't worry, the Great Spirit will protect me from their arrows. If they're not enemies, they'll show themselves. Prepare poisoned arrows. They'll give us the advantages to decide to attack us. Hey, Chief, there's a girl coming this way. She's alone. It's a trick, Great Chief. That girl. Let's show her we're ready for anything. No, wait, don't shoot. Put down your bows. I want to talk to her to see what she wants. She wears the peace band. Be careful, Great Chief. The warriors who came with her are hiding in the bushes, watching us. It could be a trick. We'll find out. Oh, Great Spirit, hear my prayers. Help me make them understand your will. Oh, Manitou, may this girl not make our distress greater than it is already. What are you doing on our territory? We're heading north, to the Great Cold. You must have a special reason for going there. We're going to the Inuit peoples in the Great North. Were you among those attending the gathering at the Falls of Niagara? Yes, were you and your tribe at the Great Gathering as well? Yes, but it was almost over when we got there. Unfortunately, we heard about it too late. Luck has not been smiling on us recently. All the braves we met while we were there mentioned the speech given by the daughter of the great chief of the Powhatan. Oh, the words of the Creator. For the rest of my days, I will regret not having heard those prophetic words that touched people's hearts so much. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have been sent here by the Great Spirit to repeat those words. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Pocahontas! Pocahontas? 
We'll go get our stuff and set up camp here. Am I hearing things, or are you really Pocahontas, Princess of the Power Ton? Yes, I really am Pocahontas. I have been blinded by my stupidity. Please, Princess, forgive a poor old man. You have no reason to reproach yourself. I can't believe it. It's no trick. We have the honor of receiving a visit by Pocahontas. She's a messenger of the Great Spirit. You will need stronger canoes for the trip north, so take two of ours. Thank you, Great Chief. It's the least we can do. We must thank you for visiting us. It was a pleasure. May the Great Spirit protect you! Farewell, Pocahontas! It's as if the sun revolves around the Earth up here. Amazing, isn't it? It hardly ever sets this time of year. <laughs> it must be some kind of magic that keeps it up there so long at a time. You better get used to it. In the far north, it's up there in the middle of the night. Maybe the days will be longer, True Feather, but the sun can't shine in the middle of the night. If it did, it wouldn't be dark. You better wait till you see it for yourself. Stop it, both of you. This stupid discussion is going nowhere. I'm sure we'll see lots of new things along the way. This rate will reach the Great Slave Lake tomorrow. I can't wait to see it. Isn't this beautiful country, Ma? Yes, but nothing is as beautiful as you. <laughs> should stop somewhere to find water. Then let's stop right now. It'll be nice to take a walk. Head for the bank, Hopi Ho! Look! Just what we need! A pool of fresh water! Drink first, True Feather. Thanks, but Mach should be first. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Pocahontas gave it to you. It's your lucky day. <gasps> Stay where you be are. Careful. This is my job. to Pocahontas. Come on! Pocahontas, are you all right? I'm fine. The sacred animals saved us again. I was very frightened. But the Great Spirit made sure the bear didn't hurt us. I wonder why it decided to attack. What happened? We were attacked by a bear. The sacred animals came to the rescue again. An evil force made it act like that. The wind is getting colder and colder. Look, there are people waiting for us in canoes. You're right, they look like Inuit to me. We 
are very glad to see you here, Pocahontas. It is a great honor to welcome the messengers of the Great Spirit. Thank you for your kind words. We are glad to be with you. When they received word that you were coming, people from all the tribes in the far north gathered here to greet you. Please, follow us. <laughs> 